Hey guys, so I have just come back from a shopping trip. I went to Sephora and Walgreens and I just wanted to share with you um, some of the stuff that I bought. Okay, so at Sephora I got the Tatcha um, starter kit or bestseller kit and I actually really like this brand. You guys know that I own Banish, but um, I do use Banish products, but you know, I still like to try new products. Um, and I've tried the classic enzyme rice powder and the dewy skin mist, but I wanted to try the cleansing oil and water cream. And whenever I buy beauty products now, I always buy them in a the tiny little like travel size because I honestly will not um, be able to use it up. It comes in this purple box. And let's open it up. With a little postcard and it comes, wow, beautifully packaged. That looks really nice. And look at the packaging. Tatcha definitely wins in packaging. Very, very nice packaging. I wish Banish, we had the bandwidth to like spend a lot of energy into packaging the product. But we focus more on the ingredients of the product and the packaging. I think one day we will have better packaging, but for now, I can just dream. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing I got is a beauty blender, which I kind of regret because it was $20. But these are my favorites. Um, I like the ones that come in from Sephora. Ugh because I find that the ones I got on Amazon, they, how do I even open this? They are too rubbery. I like the beauty blenders that are super soft. So this one is perfect. It's like soft. Like the fabric, the material is very different than the ones you get on Amazon. So this will be used to apply my foundation. And then last thing I got is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And the reason why I got this was I wanted something with SPF that um, I could just throw in my purse. And this is the perfect size. You can throw it in your purse. You can travel with it. I don't buy anything full size anymore because I'm always running around. I'm always traveling. I'm always out and about. And now I've started taking the metro and the train in L.A. because I hate, I hate driving. I would rather, like, pay $100 for an Uber than to drive an hour in traffic the mental like headache of driving is just it just wears me down I get in a bad mood after I am stuck in traffic so what I'm gonna start creating is like a mini makeup kit I'm gonna just um, fill it with some of this like an SPF product eyebrow pencil and mascara that's gonna be my everyday makeup kit when I'm on the go uh, it's not gonna be like the makeup kit I'm gonna bring if I'm like traveling or giving a presentation or whatever but this is just you know, just like the, oh my god, I'm not going to scare you thing. And usually what I do is I usually have um, eyelash extensions, although mine have completely fallen out. I like pulled them because I'm going to get a full set um, in a couple days. But I usually have eyelash extensions, and what I do is I put mascara on the bottom. Lashes, it makes my eyes look like doll lashes. I use a little bit of brow pencil and um, CC cream. Okay, so then I went to... Walgreens and I got muscle milk. Um, I've been exercising about two times a day now and the reason why I exercise that much is you guys know me if I want to commit myself to something I want to be the best at it and I don't really know what balance is. That's not a word in my dictionary. Like I know everyone's like you need to have balance in your life but I don't know like once I start exercising I want to do it more and I want to be the best at it so I try to um, exercise a lot and I have found I exercise so much I get super tired um, I stopped eating a lot of meat like probably I would say 10% 5% to 10% of my diet is meat um, so I haven't had like an in-and-out burger in like four months like I'll have the occasional like burger right I'll have the occasional um, like chicken or whatever but I usually don't really eat that much meat uh, simply because I don't know I feel like it's not necessary but I don't want to be like, oh, I'm 100% vegan because that's like way too hard to do. So um, I stopped eating meat 
And then I'd work out like twice a day and then I would wake up in the morning and feel like a pile of lead. Like I felt like my whole body was like lead and I couldn't move. I had no energy. I was lethargic. I hated my life. So I felt like maybe drinking muscle milk or core power after workouts would help. And I and so far it has. And also um, if I work out early in the morning or if I work out in the morning, I'll just drink one of these before my workout. And the best thing, the best thing, guys, it expires May 29th, 2018. I can't tell you how many times I've purchased a carton of eggs and thrown the entire carton away. I feel like I must have done that at least 100 times, and I know, like, there's starving children in the world, and I'm sorry for being so irresponsible with my food, but I don't, like, my oven has never been used in my place, and my dishwasher has never been used, um... I don't cook. I haven't cooked in probably two years. Like, literally, I haven't cooked in two years. Um, which obviously makes me a very desirable housewife. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I, I just want to buy food that doesn't expire, which is super hard because if you, you know, <laughs> you want to eat healthy, but you also want to buy food that doesn't expire, that doesn't really leave you with much except like almonds, which I have a box of almonds I haven't opened in like a year. Hopefully they're still good. Okay, so that's that. And I go out to eat. Um, basically all the money that I make goes to food. Uh, I buy, like I, I bought food three times today. It's like so normal. I'm just always eating out, which is really bad for my, my body and my health, which probably is defeats the purpose of me um, working out twice a day because I'm just putting bad stuff in my body. Whatever. Okay. And then from Walgreens, I got LaCroix. I have been super, super, super obsessed with sparkling water. I love Pellegrino. Um, Pellegrino with a bit of lime and lemon with some ice is so yummy. And uh, LaCroix with some ice is so yummy. When I go to Starbucks, I get a LaCroix or a Pellegrino with some ice. Um, it's good. It's calorie-free, which is good. At least it's not like soda. But the issue is, is now I don't drink regular water as much. I will drink sparkling water. And Pellegrino is kind of expensive. Um, it's like a dollar, two dollars a bottle. So it adds up. You know, if I have like one or two a day, it adds up. Um, so yeah. But I think I'm going to keep one in my car just so when I'm thirsty, I can drink it. But I just crave now sparkling water all the time. Last two things. I got some hair clips, and I feel like this is stuff that, I'm, that I bought and I'm never going to use, but I usually like to put my hair, I think the best way my hair looks is if it's like this, half up, half down, and this is the only way to do it and get that volume in your hair. And then I got, I've never tried this, Head & Shoulders Clinical Solutions, and telling you I'm going to start using head and shoulders. I don't usually use head and shoulders. I haven't really noticed a difference when using it. Maybe because I don't use it for long enough. I like to try like shampoo and conditioners from like Sephora. You know, like I want to try bougie, nice, expensive um, shampoo and conditioners. But my, my scalp has like pimples or zits inside. So I feel like, um, I feel like, it gives me a lot of dandruff, and I, I feel like pimples, and then what I do is, like, I pop them in my scalp, and then it starts bleeding, and then my fingertips start bleeding. It's really, it's like a really bad habit, but I, I almost love to, like, to, like, scratch my scalp and, like, pop my zits. Um, so I do have, what is it, dermatitis or uh, psoriasis, something in my scalp, and uh, I think using head and shoulders or the clinical solution will help. Um, I hope it doesn't smell terrible. But, yeah, it's called anti-seborrheic dermatitis. And let's see what it is. Oh, it's just a shampoo. Does it smell good? I just love things that smell good. Oh, it stinks. And it's orange. Look at that. Ugh, not excited to use this. Okay. And then I tried at Sephora, I tried the Gabrielle perfume, and it's a very interesting scent, um, or sorry, it's a very interesting scent in that when you first smell it, it smells 
You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Aquadigio. Aquadigioa. Um, Gabrielle. And I love the name Gabrielle. I want to name my daughter Gabrielle. <laughs> but um, it has like, it smells like Aquadigioa. But when I noticed this after I showered, the scent developed into something a lot more like Chanel Number no. 5. A lot more like old lady or musky scent. So cool. And then that's because Chanel fragrances, they're so wonderfully crafted and they have so many layers and depth to it that, you know, when you, leave, when you wear it, three, year, three hours later, it's going to smell a little bit different than it does now. And then after you shower, it's going to smell a little bit different. Like the smell kind of lingers on, which is, I think, super, super cool. I might actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get the fragrance. What do you guys think? I wish I had it in a small bottle because I have so many perfumes I've had for like seven years and they smell different now because, you know, they don't last forever. So thanks for watching guys. And, uh, please comment below because I still want to make videos. I want to make it on this channel. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do it on my main channel, but the problem with my main channel is like, I just don't have like the energy and time to like put my face full of makeup, get the lighting set up, you know, bring all the stuff over to the studio. So we'll have to see. Okay. Bye.